Hello, my math friends. This is Mrs. Schlecht. And in this video, we are going to compare ratios. All right, so you know, before we get going, there's a few materials that you need in order to be successful for this activity. First, you're going to need your Envision book. Remember, we're in volume two now. Second, you're going to need your math notebook so you can take those beautiful notes and show all of your wonderful math thinking. Third, don't forget that pencil so that you can take those notes. And fourth, last, but certainly never, ever, ever least, that positive math attitude. So my math friends, this video goes very well with lesson 5-3 in your Envision volume two. And when I say that we're comparing ratios, what I mean is that we're looking at two different ratios and then we're just talking about them. How are they alike? How are they different? You know, just chatting about them, that's all. The key concepts for this lesson can be found on page 282. All right, so the first problem that we're going to be looking at together, my friends, is actually example number two, and it's on page 281. It says, due to compatibility and size restrictions, only certain types of fish can live together in an aquarium. Compatibility means like, do they get along? Do they not get along? You know, they need to be friends. If there are 15 mollies in each tank with the ratios, we'll talk about that here in a second, shown which tank has more fish, okay? So there's two different tanks. There's tank one, we're gonna use blue to represent that. And in that tank, there's four guppies to every five mollies, okay? And then tank two, we're gonna be using red to represent that tank. There's two angelfish for every three mollies, all right? So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be comparing tank one and tank two, okay? To see which one will have more fish if the mollies will be 15, all right? So what I'm going to be doing, and you'll notice it in your book as well, we're going to create a table to represent these different amounts. And then we can actually continue and create some equivalent ratios to be able to compare them. All right, so I have now created two different tables to represent the ratios of fish in these two tanks, all right? Let's look at tank number one. Now remember, in tank number one, the ratio was four guppies to five mollies, all right? So four to five, that was our original ratio. If we double that, then we'll have eight guppies to 10 mollies, right? And then if we triple this original ratio, we would have 12 guppies to 15 mollies, right? If we multiplied uh, the original ratio by four, if we quadrupled it, we would then have 16 guppies to 20 mollies. And then if we took our original ratio and multiplied each by five, we would have 20 guppies to five mollies. All right, again, we just created equivalent ratios based off of that first ratio that we created. All right, now let's look at tank two. In tank two, the ratio was two angelfish to three mollies, all right? So two to three, that again was our original ratio. Everything else is going to be equivalent, okay? So if we double the ratio, then we'd have four uh, angelfish to six mollies. If we tripled our original ratio, we would have six uh, angelfish to nine mollies. If we quadrupled it, we'd have eight to 12, right? 10 to 15, 12 to 18, all right? So again, we've just taken the same ratios for each of these tanks and we just created um, equivalent ratios, okay? Now, if we look back at our original problem, it says 15 mollies. That's kind of the number, that's the spot, that's the ratio that we're looking for, right? So first, if I look over here, hmm, when do I have 15 mollies? Hmm. If I look over here, hmm, where do I have 15 mollies? Hmm, 15 mollies, that's our magic number, right? So when we have 12 guppies, we'll have 15 mollies for tank one. In tank two, when we have 10 angelfish, we'll have 15 mollies um, at that point, right? In tank two again. Okay, so now what it's asking though is total fish. Which tank is going to have total fish? Let's look over here. So in tank one, we'd have 12 guppies to 15 mollies. Now I know that if we do 12 plus 15, that's gonna give us 27 total fish in tank one when we have 15 mollies, okay? Tank two, we'd have 10 angelfish to 15 mollies or 10 plus 15, that's 25, 25 total fish in tank two when we have 15 mollies. Again, the question is, well, which tank's gonna have more fish, friends, right, when we got 15 mollies? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking 27, bigger than 25, yeah. So tank one will have more fish, friends, when it has 15 mollies. All right, my friends, the next problem that we're going to be looking at together is number 12 on page 283, all about salad dressing. It says, 
The ratio of soy sauce to lime juice in a homemade salad dressing is seven to six. So that means for every seven parts of soy sauce that you have, you have six parts of lime juice, all right? The ratio of soy sauce to lime juice in a store-bought salad dressing is 11 to 9, all right? So therefore, every 11 parts soy sauce that you have, you have nine parts of lime juice in that store-bought one, okay? The question is, the question is, my friends, which dressing has the greater ratio of soy sauce to lime juice? Greater meaning larger, right? So over here, I wrote down the ratios to our two different types of salad dressing, okay? Homemade up here, so that's seven to six. Over here, we have uh, the store-bought, which is 11 to nine. So just like we did with our little fishy friends, let's make a table to show these ratios. All right, so now I've made two different tables to represent these different ratios, all right? Let's look at the homemade one first. So the ratio, again, was seven to six. And so remember, we're just creating those equivalent ratios, okay? So we have seven to six, 14 to 12, 21 to 18, 28 to 24, 35 to 30, 42 to 36, right? These are all equivalent ratios. If you were to look at them and try to reduce them, they'd all be reduced or simplified to seven, six, right? Our original ratio. Let's look at our store-bought. Store-bought, that original ratio was 11 to nine, okay? 11 to nine. So we start with 11 to nine, then we have 22 to 18, 33 to 27, 44 to 36, 55 to 45, 66 to 54, 77 to 63. Okay, lots of ratios going on. So let's look at some common points, some common numbers that we have in these ratios, and that will help us to compare them, all right? So I noticed that there's a point where I have 18 parts lime juice. There's also a point over here in our store-bought dressing where we have 18 parts lime juice, all right? I also noticed that there's a part where we have 26 parts lime juice over here in our homemade recipe and also a 36 parts lime juice over here in our store-bought recipe. Let's pull out those ratios so that we can compare them. So again, I have circled or I put a box around the four ratios that had the same amount of lime juice, right? That way we can compare them because they have the same point of reference, all right? And I wrote it over here, let's look this way. So the homemade, the two different ratios we pulled out was 21 to 18, 42 to 36, all right? For the store-bought, the two ratios that we pulled out uh, we're 22 to 18, 44 to 36. Now, the question was, well, which one's bigger? Which one's greater, right? And I don't know about you, but 18, 18, that's the same. 36, 36, that's the same. So we have to look at the soy sauce parts, right? 21, 22, 42, 44. Pretty sure that our store-bought dressing would have the greater ratio, right? The greater ratio of soy sauce to lime juice. All right, my friends, so that was just a quick run through over comparing ratios. As always, if you have any other questions, please let me know.